And we are just a handful of laps away from crowning an eventual champion. And look at that, it's a blockbuster front row with Jack Hammer, the championship leader, on pole position from Trastevere <laughs> and Davide Teresi right there. The one that we didn't expect in third. Turn one is going to be tasty. Adrian Four, fifth place to Daniele Aloe. He's not scared of putting his bike right where it needs to be. And for good measure, home hero, Ike 13. And the fans are all the way here for Malaysia as well to cheer him on. It's about a longer a trio, a seventh place starts then for the Aprilia man. Christian MM17, he's somewhat out of it now. And definitely with that grip position, he's got it stacked up against him in eighth. Kainsta once again is in ninth. Guys, the fans are in the house as well. Can hear them over the headset. Piero Ricciuti in 10th. Flat one for life. Complete your good predictions. One word from both of you. Who's going to be champion? Jack. Jack Hammer. Yeah, he is Jack Hammer, I think. Let's see. Pole position went the way of Jack Hammer. Will he convert it? Pole position. Go! Racing action is underway. Mm. And Jack Hammer didn't look like he got the best start. It looked like it went the way of Trust. It needs to go the way of Trust if he wants to have a fight in this title race. David A. Therese! Up the inside. Oh. Oh. Collisions oh. every single way in place you look. Oh, oh my no Lord. way. Two in one at okay, 10 Okay, well, we're back in action then. No time for pleasant oh, introductions. Pierre the first Ricciuti. Round. Unbelievable Pierre Ricciuti. Oh, the man that finished runner-up in the Global Series in 2023. He's only doing this one round. The Wild Child is up into third place. No, he's not, because Ike's in third. The Malaysian oh, is putting on a show oh, at his home race. We have got a Malaysian in the house here, and he is doing well at home. Ike 13 has saved his best till last. Trust is leading at the moment. He would be champion. Put the flag out now. Second place. Oh, hello. Kai, oh, Kainster's down in his last race of the oh, year. Oh, my Lord. Davide Terezi, oh, oh. where on earth are you going there? Second place for Terezi. He needs to go through into first. Eight laps of this. Somebody falling off this stage in a minute. Chaotic start there, Danny. Unbelievable. <laughs> Some of the amount of drama we've had. Oh, I'm not. Sorry to come in. That was Christian Evans 17 taking advantage of the reckless riding Piero Ricciuti. Ooh. Jack Hammer, Una Porfuera, I think there. That was it. <laughs> oh my that was Lord. trying to come through. Jorge Lorenzo smiling back home in home in Switzerland. <laughs> Yeah, unbelievable how Jack Hammer controlled the first couple of uh, sectors because he had to fight very strong, but yeah. now already safely into third position. Remember, if he finished uh, first or second, he will be champion. And, and now he's pushing already to get second place. Let's see the live championship standings at the end of this lap because this is very, very interesting indeed. Look at this, side by side for second place. Jack Hammer, not this time. As we come into this reprofiled final turn, look Ooh. at the array of lines you can have. Deary me, it's like a it's like a, a map. There's so many lines going on down there. So now we're too easy. Second place for now. Oh, not for much longer. Look at the slipstream effect. Jack Hammer up into second. Good enough for the yeah, title but, as it stands. Will he get it stopped though? I don't think he will. I think he's going to go a little bit wide. That's going to leave a little bit of room there for Davide Therese the on the inside on the Pramac racing machine. But no, Jack covers it off nicely. Good stuff there from Jack Hammer then. Up into second. You've got to say that is remarkably well handled after a truly chaotic first lap. Christian MM17 is up into fourth here. He could really do with coming through and barging some of these guys out of the way to help his brother to retain that crown. And just to touch on something that Danny Ooh. said in the build up to this focus on yourself do what you can control trust is doing it he's leading so far live championship jack hammer who is holding on in the with the skin of his teeth there's nothing in it seven points double points up for grabs i remind you we are on oh, 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 oh dearie me turn seven catches two more david a Therese. that was a valiant attempt to stay in title contention but it has ended it has crashed to a halt but now, dearie me, Jack Hammer, second place, is that is what that has done there, that crash for, well, the running wide for Christian MM17 and Daniele, Davide Terezi, sorry, beg your pardon, Davide, down now in ninth. That has really not helped Trust at all. Exactly. Trust yeah. needed them to interfere with Jack Hammer, and now the two are on their own. Exactly, uh, Trust was doing a great uh, push putting pressure into Jack uh, because he had to force him to finish into second. But now with Davide out of these uh, first positions, he's making the life easy for, for Jack. Yeah, absolutely. Jack is now 
almost pressure off, you'd have to say. I mean, there's definitely still an absolute boatload of pressure on him. We've still got six laps to go here as we fry across the line to complete lap two. And Jack does set the fastest lap of the race. What's that? A 153.0 if I squint, I think that is. So a pretty belting lap around the Sepang circuit there from Jack. But you have to say, without that immediate oh. pressure from... Oh, 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 oh my God! Good save yeah. there from Daniele Aloe on the factory machine. Got a hell of a barge and a whack off of Adrian as he came back onto the line after going a little bit wide at turn one. But you've got to say, and of course a reckless riding for that, not much of a surprise, but you've got to say that Jack right now, with, uh, what's that, two seconds uh, behind him to Adrian, oh, is quite comfortable in the off out of fifth place. So, Piero Ricciuti, or is it now uh, Pirouette Ricciuti? Because he spun out there at turn four. Disaster for him, but he will be back in about ninth place. He's got... He's ahead of Christian MM17 and Kainz, of course, at the back. Don't forget about him. We're looking at Adrian. Adrian not in title contention at the moment. Jack Hammer, if he plays it smart, here should be OK. If he, he doesn't have to win, I know he might want to win this title with a victory, but he doesn't have to do it. The only thing, Danny, that Trast can do is bring Jack into play oh. and slow him down. A little bit uh, tactics, yeah, a little bit more dirty tactics, but uh, of course, uh, I think now for Jack, if he remains just behind uh, Trust, I think it's going to be a l l long race for him because laps are going to pass slowly, but it's the best position he could be in. This is a, we spoke about Kota being a, a circuit where mistakes are easy. This track as well, Sepang is very tricky, lots of fast corners and lots of breaking areas into corners that are not very standard, turn seven being one of them. Yeah, turn seven, one of the most difficult to this double right. It's very easy to make mistakes, but at the moment, uh, Jack is uh, controlling very well uh, this half second gap between him and Trust. And uh, at the moment, Adrian is no uh, pushing uh, the envelope uh, to, to risk, uh, to make the risk for Jack this second position. Do you think it's worth it for Trust to, to start to maybe back Jack up and, and bring it in or not? I know you said earlier that obviously it's a tactic that could could be employed, but do you think it's worth it for him to do it? I mean, uh, the only chance for Trust to, is to stop a little bit the pace and allow Adrian and Daniele to come closer to them and maybe play a, a little bit game. If he continues to push like he is doing so, then the other guys will not be, be able to catch up. The gap at the moment, half a second, but Really, it's academic. We can see how close it is on screen. Jack Hammer. Oh, look uh, at the faces there. Yeah, I tell you what. <laughs> but I'll tell you something. Just to analyse that, Trask looks very relaxed. He looks like he's yep. got it in control. Jack Hammer, slightly pensive, slightly uptight. Well, I think you would be, of course. Trask Severi is one that's won three titles here in Jack the Global Hammer Series. Wide. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to get the job done. Jack Hammer. He does not. And of course, as Danny said before we started this race, that sometimes that lack of experience is also a, a positive and a benefit for you. But by judging on Jack's face, he does look a little bit nervous. Yeah, he does look nervous. What? What's easier, Danny, to be leading a championship into the last round or to be trying to take it back? Uh, absolutely to be leading. You have more pressure, but at the same time, you know if you make things right, uh, that you get the chance to, to be the champion. When uh, you are playing the catch-up guy, uh, then you are hoping that something else happens to, and you have to wait for, for something else to happen to your Ooh. rival. Where Ooh, is Trust going? I think he thought about a flag-to-flag -flag race. Then he was almost in the pit lane. So, Trust is your race leader. The gap between Jack Hammer in second and Adrian in third is 1.9. So let's keep an eye on that. It's 1.9 to yeah. 2 seconds, more or less. So. Every time Let's I think see. Jack's going to go wide there at turn one, but he late just manages over. to get it pulled off. He's certainly doing a good job of breaking late into that. I've actually just noticed that Piero Ricciuti has the fastest lap in this race. That's a cracking job, considering that he hasn't been in the series all year and he's only arrived for this final round. So certainly, well, he's still got it as the wild child. It's now this gap then, as you do say, 1.9. It is fluctuating Ooh. just a fraction, but it's fluctuating the wrong way for Adrian and for Trast as well, because it is now just over two seconds from Jack Hammer back to Adrian. Yeah, Trast, this is through this really fast section. Beautiful bit of circuit, I must say. Very, very fast. All the riders love it. Not so much this corner. So seven's a headache. Oh, Trust, Trust is definitely slowing this pace up. I can tell you that for certain. Jack Hammer. I don't think he's going to want to try and pass him. I don't think he does because I think Trust has got good pace here. 
he's just not showing it. I think as well, you have to be a little bit concerned that if you do make a bit of contact when trying to go for that overtake, we've seen many times in the video game that if you make that slight bit of contact just at the right point in the wrong stage of the breaking phase, you can go down. And if Jack goes down now, it would be smithereens for his championship hopes. I think at the moment it's, it, it trust um, it doesn't is is not slowing down or making a Jack uh, try to play for the first position. So this speaks very well about trust about his fair play game. And I just uh, don't see what will happen in the next two laps. But looks like uh, oh, Jack wow. is thinking about it. Here we go down into turn 15 with the scene of so many race deciding moments. Contact on the apex. Jack Hammer. Well, he's not shy, is he? No. Here he comes. Does he pull it down? I don't think he did. Yamaha power across the line. Neck and neck. Dear me, it was like Philip Island all over again from the last round. Side by side. Three laps to go. Backing it in. Oh. Jack Hammer. Well, surely. He's... Oh, I told you every time. Every time but it looks Trust like it's going to go wide. Him. Jack Hammer's got it at turn two, and he's going to block Trust that. Oh, Whoa, it's a big slide. I tell you what, the front was moving, the rear was moving, almost everything was moving then. Very close there, Trust with a statement of intent, and the gap from yep. second to third is 1.5. Yeah, if they keep doing this, it's going to be game on. They took about half a second out of them in just half a lap, so it could be closing up here as we go down to the final three and a half laps of this race. Adrian needs them to start battling again, but you'd have to say that Jack, after trying to go for it and getting a pretty stiff backhand of a slap there for a move from, from Trastevere. I'm not sure he'll be wanting to go for it once again. If they can keep that gap and stabilise it now, I think that Jack will be quite happy to sit there in second. Adrian, by the way, even if he wins this, if he does bring himself into contention or is brought into it by external factors, Steady. it doesn't look like it. it's going to be championship Whoa. retained. It looks like it is going to go the way of Jack Hammer or Trust at the moment. Daniele Aloe is not in the top five in the championship standings as it is right now. So he's going for personal pride. That could almost be a bit more dangerous. Right, let's see what they do here. Because I've noticed that Trask has been running a much, much tighter, tighter line. line than Jack through here. And he's gone a little bit wide, missed the apex slightly, just about caught it on the way out. And now he's going to get tucked into the slipstream. Is this going to be a carbon oh. copy of the lap before? He's gone defensive this time as Trask, but at some point he'll have to sweep across. He is ahead into the braking zone this time. And that should be a much more clear-cut move for Jack Hammer. He's up into the lead, cracking stuff. Jack Hammer then leading, and he's going to lead across the line. Trust, it is really, now or never, penultimate lap of 2023 is underway. And I've got to say, Jack Hammer, is he going to put it down to Hammer time at the perfect time? Turn one, they've threw it cleanly, they've threw it separately as well. Jack Hammer, has he got, has he had pace, has he been sandbagging? Well, you never know. I mean, we'll see what he can pull out of the bag now. But as you say, Jack Hammer, I mean, pulling that off, avoiding all the chaos in the early laps there to maintain that P3 by the end of lap one and then pick off into second place as well. You've got to say that he's looked the best of everyone out there right now. And with a lap and a half to go, he's only adding to that advantage he's got. It's up over half a second already and it could be lights out for Trastevere and for Adrian for their championship. Yeah, Adrian and Daniele are closing the gap, uh, but I think is they are going to they're going to miss a few laps to, to really get in in the game. Yeah. But I uh, I I suspect that now the the pace from Jack is been faster and that's why they are struggling more to get closer. In in a lap and a half situation like this, you know, one and a half laps until the checker flag and you got something as big as a championship on the line, you have just over half a second. Is this a a manageable scenario or is it still high pressure? It's high pressure because you can make a mistake any minute, but I think uh, Jack is doing what he what he needs to do, which is uh, uh, play at the fastest uh, rhythm he can do and then uh, avoid any fights. I think this is the most clever strategy. How important is being your normal self in these closing stages? Not, don't start thinking about the title race. Keep it about, I'm going to win the race, the same as I would at round of the year not not easy to do uh, actually when the championship is on the line but i i think i uh the best way you can do is try to to do your your best every lap and focus corner by corner not think too long term otherwise uh the plans can change in any 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 bit final lap has got underway 5.5 kilometers just under two minutes of moto gp esport 2023 action 
the Global Series. It started with a sprint, as you saw at the top of the programme. It started with Trust on top. And until the start of the last race, earlier on today at Kota in the wet, he led the whole thing. But now, a new name has come good. Jack Hammer, familiar face maybe, but not in the top three. Until now, he is a championship leader coming into this grand finale for the first time. And he is staring down the barrel of giving KTM the title in 2023. He would be a new Global Series champion. He's half a lap from home. Yeah, what more could we say about him this year? He's been absolutely brilliant from ever since he first came into the Global Series. Last year, I mean, we knew he was fast. We saw in the online challenges that he was quick, but he came into the Global Series and struggled in his first year. He had flashes of brilliance. He had really good qualifiers, but in the races, and even in this year, the qualifying pace was electric. But for some reason, he just couldn't quite get it to click in the first couple of rounds. And then as soon as it clicked, it has stayed clicked. He's been absolutely brilliant in this last third and fourth round. And now he is only two corners away from becoming a Global Series World Champion. If he gets any closer to the screen, I think he's going to go through the TV. One corner to go then. Jack Hammer, the number 67 on a KTM. It's not shaky burn in 2005, I can assure you. It is a new star in MotoGP eSport. Last corner, last time. 2023 is coming to a close with a new name on top. Jack Hammer, Great Britain's Jack Hammer takes victory and the title. He is MotoGP eSport world champion in the Global Series. What a finale. We had it all right the way through the stories of 2023. This year has been unforgettable. But Jack Hammer has come good when it mattered. Kreitzner there, congratulating him. Kishnev M17, the HRC LCR team. Ryder is there, the player there. Also congratulating Spadalongo. Davide Therese, he mounted the late charge in 23, but he couldn't quite convert it when push came to shove. Ike coming over there. Adrian, he was your outgoing champion. In the end, no win in 2023 for Adrian, but a new champion in Jack Hammer. Is your new world champion, courtesy of that fantastic victory. There it is in the flesh. Confirmation that just by one second ahead of Trastevere, Adrian finishes third of Valiant effort, but no win for him in 2023. Plenty of podiums, but it is going to be commiserations as he hands over his title crown to Jack Hammer. Daniele Aloe finishes fourth. Fantastic. I think that's his best ride of the season. The same for Plat 1 for Life in fifth. Great stuff from the pair of them. Davide Teresi, unfortunately, his title, late title surge, I should say, does fall short. Sixth place there in the final race of the season from Ike. Piero Ricciuti, the stand-in, finishes eighth. Good job from him and the rest of the runners. Here is the championship standings. They're the final and confirmed championship standings. By 27 points, Jack Hammer is your 2023 MotoGP Esport Global Series champion. Trastevere takes second, continuing his fantastic run of finishing in the top three in the championship standings. Adrian takes third, certainly not a bad effort at all, defending his title from last year. Davide Teresi takes fourth in his debut season, ahead of Christian M17, Daniele Aloe, Spadalongo, Keister, Piero Ricciuti, Aiki, and Platt One for life. So there you have it then. A fantastic season of MotoGP eSport action has come to a close, and we do have a new name on top of it.